So to me, the most important thing is to know a few tests really well, feel really confident on how to physically do them and how to know and understand what you're seeing so that you can interpret those so you can sort out, is this a stroke? Is this BPPV? Is this acting like a vestibular neuritis? And so you can really differentiate quickly serious vertigo from uh, less serious vertigo. What happens if you don't do that? What are the stakes? We need to have stakes. Like what could happen if you were to explain to a student? Right. So if you miss a stroke, the person could have a very serious uh, result from that, whether that's a very involved stroke where it could have been more medically managed more quickly, right? We know we can give um, medication to uh, bust the clot and, you know, really not only save a person's life, which is clearly extremely important, but also reduce, mitigate, and possibly almost eliminate potential sequelae, right? Kind of weakness, dizziness, all these kind of long-term things that can happen after a stroke. So if we can really set that person up for a better outcome, uh, saving life, number one, uh, better outcome, we all care about that.